middle class Matt from don'tbuythehype.blogspot.com and I am the sports genius and I am as always a huge Tar Heel fan. So the UNC Tar Heels played football. Now I've always talked about this UNC is a basketball school but I'm still a big football fan because I'm from the south and I love football. I do tons of videos on football. Check them out. I got videos and footage of Carolina at the stadium. Footage you won't find anywhere else. Check that out. Check out these other videos. But UNC played today, and I'm always down on UNC because they're one of those teams that they get your hopes up. Like, oh, look, they look really good, and they let you down. Now they try to do that, and even the last game, I went. I've been to a bunch. I've been to out of the six games, I've been to four of them. Been to three home games. Been to one on the road to Wake Forest, which is a heartbreaker. And UNC, they they almost try to find ways to lose the game. I swear, it's crazy. Uh, today is same thing. I counted that UNC should have had um, about 30 points. The final score was UNC 18, Miami 14. I believe that's right. And UNC should have had probably over 30 points. And they should have put the away the game, you know, probably in the second or third quarter. And that would have been it. Bryn Renner threw an interception right on the goal line, bad. And he was fair today. He's been a quarterback that's been putting up monster numbers, but uh, today he only had, let's see, 214 passing yards. His p completion percentage was good, not great, but pretty good. And he threw that costly interception. But he sort of managed the game. What UNC did was run the ball. They ran the ball down Miami's throat. And one thing, I know that Miami isn't well coached, or, or the coach doesn't have them where he wants them yet, because they have tons of talent. But UNC seemed to match them athlete for athlete. UNC has tons of talent there and lots of speed. There's no doubt. I counted five or six really legit receivers. Now, they don't have any dominant receivers. They don't have a, a receiver like, uh, you know, the kind of guy that's just like Dwight Jones was last year, where he's just a dominant playmaking receiver. They don't, they don't have him. Um, the go-to uh, player. But they do have five to six really good options with guys with lots of speed, size, everything. And a lot of them are young. But between Tapley and Romar Morris and then especially Gio Bernard, who's one of the best backs in the country. And that's crazy to say at Carolina. When you think about all the great SEC schools and all the schools all around the country with football tradition, Gio Bernard is a top five back in the country. He also is probably the best back in the ACC. Now, the one of Florida State down there, he's pretty good too. But still, that's crazy to think about. And UNC hadn't had a back of that caliber in a decade. And even when Willie Parker was there, they didn't use him. So they really haven't had a, a back to have that kind of production in, in, in the season since uh, Leon Johnson. And then before that, Natro Means. Long time ago, guys. So we're talking about years ago. Uh, 10, 15 years since Carolina's had a legit back. And this guy's great. And he's a typical Florida back. Shifty, strong when he needs to be, can put the pop on you. He has, he has the best. I was going to say he has good. He has the best instincts and vision in the whole uh, NCAA. There's no doubt about it. And he would be, they would be talking about him even more around the country if he hadn't missed two games. But he's still going to easily rush for 1,000 yards and probably have easily over 1,500 yards total offense, even though he's only going to play 10 games at the most this year. But he is a special back with special vision. He's injury prone, so I don't know how much the NFL is going to love him, but he had a special game today. He had about 240 yards total offense, somewhere in that ballpark. He had 177 on the ground. He had two touchdowns. I have footage of him on this channel. Check it out. The man is gifted. And he made runs today that hardly anyone in the country can make. Probably there's nobody in the ACC could make. So, and there's some good backs in the ACC, but Gio Bernard, like I said, I think is really, really the cream of the crop. So, very, very impressed by Carolina's rushing. They had uh, 272 yards on the ground. You would think you'd beat a team by more than four points. And Carolina really dominated this game, but made mistakes. And they make lots of penalties. They commit, they commit a lot of fouls. Lots of yardage. They make mistakes. They do. They make stupid errors. And UNC allows people to stay in the game. And it's, and it's going to hurt them when they play a really good team. They have State in two weeks. They can't do that against State. 
No doubt about it. North Carolina State will beat them if they do that. But very impressive. Now, Romar Morris is one. I have tons of footage on him uh, also on this site. Um, or also on this channel. But he is also really impressive. He only got 10 carries, but got 77 yards. So he got nearly 8 yards a carry. Very impressive. So UNC has tons of talent. And it has a good offensive line. And the defense played better today. So they have the ability to be a team. I didn't want to say so much about it, but... Should be 7-0, and should be a top 10 team in the country, at least by rankings, not probably really. All the really good teams in the SEC. Just watch South Carolina, LSU, whole different level of football. Just a whole different level. It's incredible. But, like I said, go Heels, impressive performance. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see if they can you know, continue that against Duke, and then most importantly, if they can get that state win. They win the next two games, I'll be happy as a Carolina fan. This is Middle Class Matt. I'll check you next time.